Hey guys, it's Mia here. So this is a week in the life of a chemical engineering technology student. If you haven't known, my course is actually chemical engineering technology. And I've had the most hectic week, which is week 12. Uh, hence the reason why I disappeared for three weeks because I had a lot of assignments and a lot of tasks and tasks to be done. So just to organize my life, I decided to organize uh, all of my tasks that needs to be done this week on my Notion. As you can see, I have a Mandarin test, speaking test specifically today. And I also have an individual project to be submitted on Tuesday with also a proposal presentation for my computer edit design or I would personally like to call it CAD tomorrow. Then on Thursday, I had another test called for CAD and then on Friday, I had to submit our uh, group assignment for chemical plant safety and I also had a feedback meeting with all of the winners of the anime manga drawing competition for Japanese professional language club which is a club that I belong to and I am the secretary for that club. Here, I am just tracking whether I have any classes or not during that week because uh, I really like to organize here uh, like this so that I can see whether I have any free time to do all of my assignments and catch up and do some revision for my tests. Festivals. Nongli Sinian. Nongli Sinian. Nongli Sinian. Nongli Shengdanjie 你觉得那件衣服好看吗Tuesday, I had the project proposal presentation. Basically, we had to do a hand sanitizer stand and propose our design to our lecturer. Here is the draft design that I discussed with my group members. We did our brainstorming and decided to do a design combination from two hand sanitizer stands in the market. And here is the finalized proposal. It isn't a formal presentation and we didn't even need to submit our proposal so I didn't do a more professional format type of document. Uh, so this is the first reference design and we are going to combine it with the hands-free uh, hand sanitizer stand. So uh, 
this one this design is actually from MNT displays and the other one uh, is unknown because we just got it from Shopee then here is a sketch so there's total there's going to be 11 components uh, number one will be the AG portrait where they will, we will present the QR code and there will also be a bracket and there's going to be a long steel road that will connect the uh, AG portrait and also the component number four which is the hand sanitizer holder so this hand, san hand sanitizer holder will be the same as uh, the second reference design and then there will be a piping system in which the consumer the customer can uh, can step on the system so that they I wore my earphones during our presentation so you couldn't hear that my lecturer told us that we will need to design a spring-like mechanism inside the foot pedal and thank god we discussed this during the brainstorming session because I was able to come up with a solution to that problem and therefore we got to avoid designing a spring Oh, we thought about that we think that maybe I got the spring component kan but when we look at the design too the up and down too is actually contributed by the string inside the hand sanitizer punya pump Ah, uh, tak ada. Ah, uh. so di, okay. So this uh hand sanitizer punya hands free tu is gonna be very lightweight lah to accommodate the string in the hands. Alright, thank you, sir. Bye. Ah, <sighs> okay. One down, one more to go. Now I'm just doing my individual project for data and storytelling visualization class and basically we have to find a data sheet in Malaysia and create three dashboards and then write a report analyzing the dashboards. This is actually not a core subject in my course. This subject belongs to the Faculty of Data Statistics and I just decided to enroll because I was curious to learn about data visualization. Thankfully, UMP actually encourage students to take extra classes and they will provide certificate. Some of it are free and some of the classes you will need to pay extra money for the exam. But the result that you get won't be counted in your CGPA. So yeah, basically I am just learning this for fun and for free. Still, even though it was fun, it was still a bit stressful to have an additional subject on top of my own course subject in my own course. Yes! Bye! Bye! had the laziest Wednesday ever. <laughs> Basically, I procrastinated the whole day today and instead of revising for my AutoCAD test tomorrow, I decided that it would be a better idea to design my dream pad board. Also, that day was actually a public holiday, so happy belated Wednesday day to all of my Hindu friends. I celebrated this public holiday with watching the Lego Batman movie, movie with my boyfriend and it is one of the funniest movies I've ever watched. Highly recommend it if you haven't yet. <laughs> After a whole day of procrastinating, I finally started on that safety assignment which is by making some revision notes <laughs> regarding the chapter that the assignment was all about. Still procrastinating, but at least I am actually doing something with my time.
I started doing revision for the CAD test like around two hours before the exam started. Yeah, <laughs> I know bold move, but I guess God was doing me a favor because the test was surprisingly easy. Um, there were two questions. Firstly, we had to recreate a three D model, and then the second question we had to translate an orthographic projection into a three D model. Uh, these were my answers. Out of all the subjects I'm taking this semester, CID has got to be the only subject I enjoyed. After the test, I wanted to treat myself to Pemimat. I got myself the matcha milkshake, the spicy chiki, a chocolate cupcake, and the glorious chicken lasagna. By Friday, I was already burnt out. As you can see in this clip of me during my club meeting with the winners of our recent competition, could be a side effect of the safety assignment that I finally submitted before this meeting. The meeting was only 36 minutes long, but it felt like an eternity. For this second academic year, I took six subjects and one additional uh, certificate class, which is the data and storytelling visualization. I also uphold two positions in two clubs this year. Aside from the secretary position in Jampu, I was also the external relations executive in IKP student chapter. Okay. Okay. Alright. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. In the beginning, everything just looked so possible. Before the start of the semester, everything just you know, looked so easy. I got only six subjects, one extra class, two uh, positions in two clubs, and I thought that I was sparing so little that I failed to foresee the upcoming burnout and the mental toll this semester would take on me. It even come to the point where I seriously just lack motivation to do anything and procrastinate with all of my tasks. Ironically, uh, one of my friends actually came up to me and asked me, Mira, how do you find motivation to complete all of your assignments and even continue the semester? And lucky her, I actually did ask myself that question before she approached me and my answer for motivation is deadline. Yeah. I cannot lie, being deprived of face-to-face -face interaction with your lecturers and classmates, being alone in the room, trying to comprehend a knowledge that makes little to no sense most of the time, and many more has made online distance learning harder than it seems. The only thing that's making me motivated to continue are the deadlines for my assignments. But then again, is that motivations? Or is that just an act of survival? What about you? What are your motivations to continue your studies? If you don't mind, I hope you can share in the comments down below. You know what? If I were to ask myself again, Mira, what motivates you to finish this semester? I think it's just to make that younger Mira proud. That younger Mira who believes she can do this and she can excel. I need to make her proud. And I need to let her know that I did survive. So 
So, I guess that's my motivation. <laughs> that's all. Um, if you like this video, I hope you will like and subscribe. And wherever you are, I hope you are doing well. Bye!